Hooked on the ropes with Jim Sandlack hustling with Calgary Tough Guy Paul Cruz. Sandlack, they called him the house. Number 25, scoring the takedown. Then, Sergio Lamas on the left side. Shot, and it all past Mike Vernon. First of two for Big Surge. Two zip. Sergio would end the year with 20 goals. Second period, Todd Ferguson front for future sports net analyst Gary Vault. Gary scored that one with his tan. 4 0. Look at the skating of rookie Pavel and Burry. Textbook. Bang and a boom. And the kid's got a good future. 5 0. Third period. The Massa. Having a heck of a game. Out of the corner to Cliff Vaughn and Brian of North Burnaby. 71 points that season. 8 0. Later, Igor Marion on stop of the air for the rebound. And welcome back to my NHL 94 playthrough. Um, now, this is where it gets serious. Uh, we're going to play against our biggest rival back then. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yes. Yes, always my favorite team to beat up the Calgary Flames. Um, Calgary was very good back then, actually. <clears throat> uh, they had... In 91-92, the Flames had missed the playoffs, but uh, and this was just after they had traded Doug Gilmore away to the Maple Leafs, but they're still pretty good uh, in 92-93. We battled them all year long, and as we all know, in 94, we had that great playoff series against them. Um, that seven games where Powell Burry scored the winner in double overtime in Game 7. In fact, uh, the Canucks won... The last three games of that series, all of them in overtime. Um, anyway, uh, without any further ado, um, let's see, let's look at the Flames lineup here for a second. There's Gary Roberts. He injured his neck in '94, and uh, the Canucks were all told to target his neck all the time, so that was quite interesting. Theo Fleury, probably the Flames' best player at the time, but. Uh, he had a lot of he had to deal with a lot of demons in his life. Um, I won't get into all that here, but uh, he had to go into rehab quite a few times later on. There's Gary Suter, who probably shortened Paul Korea's career by a few years with his <coughs> bad hit on him in '98. And of course, who can forget Al McGinnis and with a big slap shot? Joe Newendike's on the Flames. They traded the Flames traded Newendike. To get, uh, to get Jerome Ginla. So, actually, to, this was a trade which worked for both the Stars and the Flames. Uh, Jerome Ginla, as you know, is uh, had been the Flames' heart and soul for the past decade up till now. And uh, Joe Newendike was an instrumental part of the Stars Stanley Cup Championship in '99. Anywho, let's uh, without any further ado, let's start the game. They're rated higher than us. Let's see. Oh, Gary Roberts. Haha, <laughs> Paolo Burry is on a hot streak, so hopefully we should be able to um, get the jump on them here. <coughs> Alright, so I'm going to put Murray Craven back on. And uh, the Flames are a big, tough team, so we're going to have to go with our tough lineup with Sandlack and Hunter. On our checking line. Okay, here we go. Go, Flames, go! No. Ronning gets the puck. And on Vernon! Knocked down, there'll be no call. Oh, shoot. Roberts. <laughs> okay, Suter. Roberts. Oh, look out. Good. Oh, and Burry scores! Doug Lister ticked off a pass, gives it to Burry, and uh, it's one nothing, just like that. The Flames trying to get it behind the net. Oh, huge hit. Um, <coughs> the history between the Flames and the Canucks is... Uh, Pretty fierce. I mean, the 
The Flames' main uh, rivals are always going to be the Edmonton Oilers, for obvious reasons, but uh, this was the Canucks' biggest rival throughout most of their history. <coughs> Pretty much from the from when both teams started to exist. But anyway, there's a chance. Oh, Burden took it away. It's Makarov. Anyway, this is a game for divisional supremacy. These are the two best teams in the Smite division back in around 93 or so. Oh, there's a chance. And they score! <coughs> Running! It's 2 nothing. Ronnie with a bit of trickery in the slot. Vancouver with an early lead. Oh, there's Flurry. Watch out for Flurry. Oh, well, I'm not going to let him score. Good save. Oh, hey. Golden interference. Yeah. <coughs> How do you like that? Goaltender interference. Come on, let's go. <coughs> Lume. Okay, let's get a quick one in. Oh, it's good defending. Get back in your net, Kirk. You're not Martin Brodeur. <laughs> You're not that good at puck handling. <laughs> oh, here's uh, Momesso. Oh, should have been free. If we get a 3 nothing lead in the first period, this can become a riot. Oh, there's a chance. Oh. Oh! How did that go in? It uh, kind of floated in. Uh, floated in through the air, and it's 3 nothing. Wow, this could get out of hand very quickly. The only. Oh, another headshot. <laughs> You'll pay for that. Douchebags. All right, Robert Dirk. Oh. Oh, good save. Okay, slow the game down. Slow the game down. Oh. There's no flip pass in this game, so it's kind of hard to you know, get the exact pass that you want. Oh, here's Jeff Cornell. Winding. Wing. Oh, good save, but uh, Jeff Corno scored the winner in game five of the series 94 against Calgary in the same building. <coughs> it's like, sorry, Calgary, I'm telling you, you don't have a Lanny McDonald on your team, you can't beat us back in the, <laughs> not the playoffs anyway, <laughs> not until 04. <laughs> oh, yeah, it would be better if the Flames had the Gilmore and uh, Lanny McDonald, but, you know, whatever. Oh, there's Gary Roberts. This is uh, Sandlag again, last minute. There's a chance. It's saved by Vernon. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm not going to take a chance. 30 seconds left, but it's actually less because the clock comes down a bit faster than 10 minutes, but, you know, whatever. It's Bray again. Oh, there's a chance. Five seconds left. Linden on tipping from Bray, and it's 4 nothing. <laughs> I was almost as uh, lopsided as the Washington game, and this time I am giving cat. This time I am giving uh, commentary. You know, so uh, wow, we're uh, destroying Calgary here in the first period, first in the mission. Whoa, the Bruins got destroyed by New Jersey seven-one. <laughs>